Hey, I'm John Thielen. Today I'm fish head. It's spring, we're fishing some, some spring walleyes, and I'll tell you what, this is your, your typical weather, I'll tell you. It got cold, it's gonna get really cold tomorrow, it's gonna rain, I figured I better get up here and get fishing. We got a straight east wind, you can tell it's gonna bring these storms in, the clouds are starting to build down there. But we should get in a good day of fishing today, and I gotta believe the bite will be pretty good. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to deal with wind and how to deal with these prefront conditions today on Fish Head. Stay right where you're at. It's going to be a pretty good one. Fish snapped it right there. Huh. I felt that minnow all of a sudden just get a little wound up. And I was just kind of pulling him, dragging him along this gravel here. I was giving him a little pull and all of a sudden that minnow just got wound up. I think right there a fish just grabbed him. Heck yeah. Got him. That wall, I just grabbed him while I was moving him along that. That little edge there, just pulling him a little bit. Man, I'll tell you, these aren't the easiest conditions to fish in, but when you can handle the boat control in these conditions, you can catch a lot, a lot of fish. And you look around today, there's one boat back here behind me, but that's it. And I'll tell you, it's a Friday. I mean, there should be, there should be more guys out here fishing. But most of them are going to be fishing the other side of the lake today because this wind is not going to make anything easy. But if you can get in to an area like I'm in here and figure out how to keep the boat control going, you can do this right here. That's a great walleye to start the day right there. <laughs> how cool is that? All I'm doing is trying to work an edge here. But there is no way I would be able to do this with my trolling motor right now. It's just too windy and it's too gusty. It would just start grabbing me and moving all over. And this walleye right here, he's right on that ledge. Being in the right spot's the whole key. What we're gonna talk about today is boat control in these situations because if you can handle your boat, if you can do the boat control deal, I'll tell you what, fish like that, they're set up in this wind and you can catch them. And man, over the years, we've all heard it. I mean, my grandfather and my dad, everybody used to tell me, you wanna fish the windy side. And I'll tell you what, over the years, tournament fishing, guiding whatever it was, they were right. I wanted to be on the windy side. I always caught more fish when I was on the windy side. But I do know this for sure. Two things happen when you fish the windy side. There's less boats around because a lot of, a lot of anglers don't know how to handle their boat in this kind of conditions. And number two, if you can handle your boat, you're gonna catch a lot of fish because walleyes react to wind. Being on this side of the lake today, we're gonna to catch a bunch of fish. Stay right where you're at. We're gonna talk about how to do this because this is a simple, simple deal. You can do it in any boat that you're fishing out of. I mean, it's really that easy. Let's get set back up, get back down there. That's a great way to start a day. Well, you get a wind like this, and in the spring, picking spots like what I'm on right now can just be deadly, and it's so predictable because you get a wind coming in on a point like what I'm fishing here, and this point runs all the way out. These fish, they're just gonna stack up along the edges of it. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty simple deal. A lot of times they'll move out to the tip, but they'll be scattered in the spring all along the edges of it. Some of them will go right up on top. I mean, it's. It's just a really predictable deal when you got wind coming into a point in the spring. It's, uh, it's probably one of my favorite situations to be in because, you know, there's not a lot of running around. I mean, I just drove straight to this spot this morning. And the reality of it is I just looked at it and said there's got to be fish on that point with this wind coming in. And you can pretty well count on it, you know, right through that May into early June time period on most bodies of water throughout the Midwest. You get a good wind in. 
the fish are going to be there. And they're going to be eating. That's the other cool thing. So when the wind's blowing, the fish are eating. There's one right there. Just hanging on it. Square this boat up a little bit. I just dropped down. Just literally set the boat down. Got the line down. And that fish bit it. Look at that. Now this fish was right on the outside edge. And when I say that, here's, here's what I mean. I drove past that spot where I'm seeing the fish the first time each time, okay? I got out into 22 feet and I just let the boat drift up into this 18. And now I'm gonna hold the boat all the way down this ledge. But there's a trick to doing it that I think has kind of become a lost art. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, I, I still use drift socks. I still use drift socks in this situation every day. But with all of these new trolling motors and all the fancy things you can do with trolling motors, I see a lot of guys not using drift socks anymore. But you know what I see them doing? Sometimes in water like this, I see them struggling. That guy got himself unhooked here for us too. Let's just get him out of here and I'll get him out. And then we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit because when you, when you go out fishing in weather like this, it's tough. I mean, there's nothing easy about this. It's a great walleye right there. Get him out of here. Here's what we're doing. I'm using the one sock to slow me down back here and up on the bow. I'm using that trolling motor to keep my bow turn so that I'm parallel and these waves are blowing me along like this but here's the other thing that I'm doing with it I'm using it to move myself out a little bit or move myself back in and that way the drift sock is giving me the speed that I want and the trolling motor is keeping me right on the ledge where the fish are if you use the two of them in tandem you're going to catch a heck of a lot more fish I think that's fish it wasn't a wasn't a lot to get excited about there. There was no big thunk or anything like that, but it just got heavy. Sometimes they'll just grab it, especially when they're swimming with it. Yep, that's, yep. It's one of those times where, you know what, treat everything like a fish. Because if you don't, <laughs> a lot of times you find out after the fact when you reel in and check your bait. <laughs> your bait's gone. That, that was just a walleye most likely swimming with me. Just grabbed it and just kept coming. And you know, sometimes, oh, you know what? Now I understand it even a little bit more too. Has smallmouth. So, you know, that's part of it is this smallie, you know, they'll eat a little different. They won't, they won't funk it and go back to the bottom as fast. This smallmouth here, he just grabbed it on the move. But you know what? That's just a, an example of how fish, when the wind starts blowing like this, fish of all species will be sitting here eating in the same areas. You know what? We're just going to clip that hook. I don't want to hurt that fish. Look at that. Nice little smallmouth. Get out of here, buddy. Right there. Holy smokes, I started reeling up. I got a little hung in the bottom there. And I started just reeling up to take a little less line out there. Wind went down just a hair on me, and as soon as I started reeling up, that fish just attacked it. It's going the other way with it, too. Look at that. <laughs> the fish just drilled it when I tried to take it away from him. As soon as he saw it trying to get away, he just come railing at it, and I mean, he just grabbed it and turned. I probably didn't even have to feed him line. It's just habit with a Lindy rig to, to go ahead and feed them line. That feels like a pretty good walleye too. So all I'm using to fish this technique today is the 50th anniversary Lindy rig. And you know what's really cool? These things come in 10 foot snells, fluorocarbon line. And what I'm doing is I'm trimming it off a little shorter. I'm going to six feet because these fish are aggressive enough that I can just shorten it up. And that's, that's the idea behind that. If you have they come in 10 foot lengths because if you've got really finicky fish, you've got the 10 foot length and you're pre-tied with either a number four, number six hook. You can get them in two hook crawler versions. Ooh, good eye. 
but like I say, they're all 10 feet. So you can do exactly what I'm doing here today. You get on a bite that's really aggressive like this, you can just cut it off. And that's all I did here. I've just cut this off down to a, down to a six foot length. Let's just grab this guy out of here right here. Really nice fish. Man, what a, what a great eye. And you can see right where that fish is hooked. <laughs> I mean, it's just simple, simple deal. I'm fishing a, a quarter ounce or a three eighths ounce. I'm kind of back and going back and forth a little bit on that today as the wind has come up and down a little bit. Right now I'm back down to a quarter. But a lot of that is because I'm controlling the speed of the boat with the use of this drift control drift sock and that trolling motor. And while I was like that one, man, I'll tell you what, you just find that speed, you find that spot, you hold the boat on it, drift over them like we're doing, and you can catch them pretty consistently. I mean, it's just been one after another, but it's, it's a really easy deal. You know, just, just Lindy rigging this stuff, drifting it right out the side of the boat. And, you know, I look back on it when I was a kid, man, this is how my dad and I fished. We spent so much time just drifting and catching fish. And with the advent of all these new trolling motors, a lot of times we overlook the fact that just getting on that right spot and drifting with the wind, a lot of times it, it just flat out catches more fish. And, and that's why, that's why I enjoy drifting still. And that's why I keep these drift socks in my boat. And it's easy fishing. You can get anybody out and do it. You can get a number of people in the boat and do it. You can use that trolling motor to move yourself back and forth like we're doing today.